Yo, 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 what's good with it? CPA Strength back again for another mother forking video. I am the strongest licensed CPA in the state of Florida, maybe in the southeast region. I don't know. Is there anybody else in Florida who lifts? Another CPA anyways? I don't know. What do you do, buddy? I teach the world basic accounting by building blocks, by building blocks, by building blocks. I have a playlist over here that has the whole classic series. This happens to be 78, so ah, I have 77 of the classic series currently in this playlist. But when you're looking at it in the future, I, this, this might be like in the... 598 or something, so I'd have 597 in the playlist. I have one less in the playlist than you're currently seeing. But if you're watching in the future, then this probably includes the playlist, so who knows. Anyways, yeah. So this is number 78, but it all is also number 6 of our widget ink. So uh, this is going to be service, service revenue. Oh, look at this. This is DC Adler. This is why you would know me. This is why you would love me. This has helped thousands, like, on some real spill. This is this has helped thousands of people, uh, I guess, progress, you know, in their, uh, in their accounting life. Whatever they want accounting for, uh, the DC Adler's helped them learn it and they've progressed in their life. I don't really want to spend too much time on the journal entry board here for because we've done service revenue before. If um, if this confuses you of how I got the debits and credits, go back to one of my older videos with service revenue where I talk in more detail about how I come up with it. But anyways, the journal entry for 63015, look, we're halfway. This is our sixth journal entry of Widgets Inc. It's been open for a half a year now. Um, well, let's look at our balance sheet income statement at the end of our half year and see how we're doing. All right. So what happens in 63015, our journal entry, we have Widget Incorporated gets paid $10,000 for service repair. Now, where's the cash? We get paid $10,000. So we're getting money. Our money account's going up. Our checking account. Checking account is an asset. Asset going up is a debit. Checking account debit, $10,000 happens to be an asset. What's the credit? Well, we got paid for doing stuff in an ordinary course of business. That's what we do. We service widgets. We sell widgets. We're widget guys, widget ink. So that's the revenue. So that's going. it's going up $10,000. It's a credit. Because uh, if it's going up in a revenue, it's a credit. So we have credit $10,000 service revenue. Debit, checking account, $10,000 asset. Credit, service revenue, $10,000. That's what happens when we get paid $10,000. Let's go to our second board here. Okay, great, we can see everything. Let me get my eraser and my purple. Let my purple drink. My purple drink. I don't really like that stuff. I don't really like the scissor, but anyways. Not really. I don't know. Anywho, uh, chart of accounts. What did we just use? Let me look at my journal entry. We used checking account and we used service revenue. We used checking account and we used uh, service revenue. Widget service. Widget service is what we had in our in our chart of accounts before. In that journal entry, I'm sorry, I used service revenue. I kind of use them interchangeably. I'm sorry about that, but it would be widget service because I would start typing in um, cause I would know I'd have a revenue and then I would start typing in for my journal entry and see, I was typing in service revenue, but I would, it, it, but it, it would show, oh, you need a new one. And I'd say, oh, I didn't have a revenue before and it would be widget services. So I would go back, go back to the original and change the widget services. I mean the service revenue to widget service, and I'm sorry about that, but um, I would have seen that I had widget service from before, so I would have said, well, that's what I'm calling my income, my service income. Um, so anyway, sorry, sorry about that. I thought this was going to be breeze through this one, because we already had uh, the revenues and everything, but we did. Here, I'm going to change this now to widget service, because, oh. Uh, I redid the service revenue. No, 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 no. 
come on. I'm going to change that to, yeah, widget service. That's what we want. Look at that purple. Oh, yeah, widget. All right. So anyways, we already had widget service, we already had checking it, we already had a revenue account for servicing widgets, and then we already had our checking account. Uh, so what happened? Well, let's go to the widget service. Look, now now let's go to our, our uh, general ledgers for both, actually, that are sub subsections of our chart of accounts. Let's go to the widget service. Now we have two items that happened so far in 43015 we got two we had two thousand dollars in that account and then on 63015 right now we just got ten thousand dollars in our widget service account so we have a total of twelve thousand dollars in our service account or our widget service revenue account that's our general ledger now in our general ledger in our checking account this is our six month open this is our six journal entry or six time using the checking account because you use the checking account for almost every journal entry. We just got $10,000. We had one. Brings our total up to $11,000 in our general ledger and we have $12,000 in our widget service. And see they don't match up. You say, oh we've made $12,000. Shouldn't we have $12,000 in our checking account? No, we have $11,000. And then in the last month it was way different and there's always a reason and why are those different? I don't know if you're if you're just uh, you know you really are thinking outside the box maybe you I guess go backwards and see why they're different. Now let's go to the fun. Oh good you can see the bottom. Thank goodness. Uh, uh, because I know on one of them you couldn't really see the net income and that's very important and so it's usually uh, anyways the balance sheet income statement. What did we do on that one? We got $10,000. Yes. So that ended up that ended up uh, affecting our checking accounts. So now we have $11,000 in our checking account. Oh, this is our balance sheet income statement. I wanted to spend more time on this statement. So good. I did get here a little earlier, so I'm happy about that. Affect our checking account. It added $10,000. So we have $11,000 in our checking account and in our widget service revenue account, we added $10,000, so we have $12,000 now. Let's go through the balance sheet income statement. Uh, let's just go through them all. Let's go through them. Balance sheet is on for, is on top because you can see what happens in the income statement through this number right here. So with balance sheet being on top, you, you can see the balance sheet. You can see assets equal liability plus equity. You can see all that. And included in that in the net income is what happened on the income statement. Now the income statement is from a period. It's from 1-1-15 when we started our business through 6 15 That's when we just did this journal entry. This is when we got our 10,000 10, jizzles. Boy, once you have, we got them 10K, boy, yeah, yeah. So anyways, boy, I was happy. I was like losing some sleep. I was like, am I going to get some? Man, I only got $1,000. I loaned $10,000. I got no money left, basically. I'm freaking out and then I just got ten thousand dollars and it got deposited in my bank account on my woo woo you know what it is ooh chili's two for twenty two bro I'm so, I'm on an Applebee's two for twenty chili's be sliding in trying to get that extra two bucks ain't happening Jack ain't happening Jizzle Jack man I couldn't do it I was like oh you haven't been funny you haven't been funny this one anyways let's go let's go so we're gonna go to the income statement first. Now we have actually, we have, uh, we only made $2,000. Now we've made $12,000. We have 7,000 expenses. So this is the first time in six months that we've had a positive net income. We had zero for a while, for a couple months I think, or one or two months, and then we had negative net income for a couple months. So that's never fun seeing the negative net income. It's like, ugh. And for a new business, that's going to happen a lot. Most, I guess, new businesses don't turn a profit for three, four years if they stay open for that long. Uh, anyways, I lost money. The for, did I lose money the first year? Or made a little. I think I lost money the first year and made a little teeny, teeny bit the second year. Hopefully, I make some more this year. Like, like more than a teeny, teeny bit. <laughs> uh, anyways. First time we have a profit of a net income. We happen to have $5,000 profit net income. Great. 
we have five thousand dollars net income um, but we have eleven thousand dollars in our checking account all I'm trying to show you is whatever you have in your checking account doesn't really signify a lot of people think oh it matters well my revenue it should match my revenue no it should match my income no it should match the journal entries yeah and that's what we do the journal entries so with getting ten thousand dollars in your uh, for service revenue and checking account now we have a positive net income five thousand so that goes from the bottom of the income statement over to the balance sheet under equity net income five thousand dollars and let's see if uh, our balance sheet balances it's like a checking system it's a that's really one of the reasons why I really love accounting because you can you can get you can uh, you can get to the answer so many different ways that if you get if you know a couple of different ways to get to the answer then you can you can get to it one way and you can check check the answer another way and then they both match and you're good so we're gonna see does does uh, does everything make sense on the balance sheet balance sheet is assets equals liabilities plus equity now our assets we just got ten thousand dollars more in our checking account so we have eleven thousand dollars in our checking account that's a current asset we have a fixed asset of our truck of four thousand dollars so we have fifteen thousand dollars in our assets account. Okay, you got it. Good. Fifteen thousand in our asset account. Now that has to equal. If we're doing things right, it has to equal our liabilities plus equity. What are our liabilities plus equity? Liabilities are ten thousand dollars. That hasn't changed. We still owe somebody. We still owe shareholder ten thousand dollars. But what's changed is we used to have negative or zero net income. Now we have a positive $5,000 income. So $10,000 liability plus $5,000 equity is $15,000. 10 plus 5 is $15,000. 15,000 15, equals $15,000. Yo, now I got it. Now because I went so fast, I have like two minutes to talk, so that's the treat for me. Because I know that's probably, that'll probably work, that probably works out better, so you don't have to skip forward. If I can just talk about the video, go fast, so you don't have to skip ahead, watch the video, video's over. Now at this point, you can either listen to me for like one or two minutes, or you can go to the next one, so you... I just, it's just better, but sometimes I'm like, oh, you know, got to be funny through the whole thing, got to tell jokes, so I'm just going to try to mix match off. Sometimes it's going to be all, you know, a little, little longer, more jokes, more fun. Sometimes it's going to be more, uh, less joke, just more accounting, more accounting. Uh, uh, but another, another big thing is I will go by, like, the like to dislike ratio I found that's very fair um like some of the videos that I think are just complete like honestly pretty trashy they have a uh a higher dislike than like ratio now there's one video on my channel it's um difference between end independent contractors and employees and it's like three and a half minutes long and I say the one difference and I say the one difference is that independent contractors don't get taxes taken out of their paychecks and I think that is the biggest difference and it has almost it has like 60 likes and 48 dislikes like almost 20,000 views and I'm thinking I, I don't know why people don't like it so much but I did something wrong like and so what I'm getting at is uh, I'm going to try to vary up how I do these accounting for beginners and then if something gets like a ton of a ton of likes then I'm going to I'm going to analyze what gets the most likes, what has a bunch of dislikes and try to do more of what has likes. <laughs> Anyways, I'm almost out of time now. I hope you enjoyed this. I loved having you. Smash the like button, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. JD Blaze out. Deuces.